In the beginning, operators turned a hand crank generator, a magneto, to ring a subscriber's telephone bell. For the clapper to move freely between the gongs, the optimum frequency was about 20 cycles per second of alternating current, or AC. From the 1890s, motor generators started to replace hand crank generators. Here is a DC motor driving an AC generator, two separate devices connected by a belt. The DC motor is designed to rotate at a speed such that the AC generator produces about 90 volts AC at 20 Hz rate. This unit is called a ringing machine because it generates ringing voltage for operators and automatic exchanges. Here is a hybrid device that combines a motor and generator in one frame. Plus, there is a means to generate call progress tones using segmented tone wheel shown on the left side of the image. Engineer Charles Bradley is generally credited with the invention of the rotary converter, circa 1888. Here is a diagram showing the basics. The rotating armature has two individual windings. This is unique among motors. One winding excites the DC motor, and the second generates the AC output current. DC current is input on the right side, and the generated AC current is output on the left side. Notice the two slip rings on the left. These connect the armature's AC generated current to external loads. For this example, there are permanent magnets creating the north and south poles of the field. Let's see this idea in action. In the center is the rotating armature, the DC input is on the right, and the AC output slip rings are on the left. On the underside is a sheet of iron. The lamps will light when the device is generating AC. A DC battery supplies input energy. A magnet provides a magnetic field, causing the armature to rotate and generate AC. This demonstrates the principles of a hybrid motor generator. Here is a beautifully restored, quarter horsepower, hybrid motor generator. It was manufactured by Western Electric about 1895. Here are the two slip rings for the AC current to exit the device. Here is the commutator. This passes DC current into the armature as it turns. This model does not use a permanent magnet to create the necessary magnetic field. Rather, it uses the two field coils seen here. They are connected to a DC source and create the north and south poles of the required magnetic field. Here is a hybrid motor generator built about 1919 and was installed in a 7A rotary exchange. It has all the elements previously discussed. On the far left are tone wheels for generating progress tones such as dial and ringing tones. It is located at the Ferry Mead Post and Telegraph Historical Society, Switch Room, Christchurch, New Zealand. This class of machine was installed in exchanges for about 90 years starting from the 1890s. Today, ringing power comes from solid state power supplies. The hybrid motor generator was an important invention and found a welcome home in exchanges worldwide.